In a narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 1240, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, listed five rights a Muslim owes another Muslim. Firstly, they are to respond to the greeting of peace, even if replying contradicts their desires. More importantly a Muslim must fulfill the Islamic greeting of peace practically by showing peace and kindness towards others through their speech and actions. It is extremely hypocritical to extend the Islamic greeting of peace to someone and then harm them through their actions or other words. In addition, this peace must be shown to others who are not present also. For example, the two Muslims who greet each other must not harm others through their speech or actions either. This is the true meaning of the Islamic greeting of peace. The next thing advised in the main narration under discussion is visiting the sick. A Muslim should try to visit sick Muslims in order provide them physical and psychological support. It would be difficult to visit all sick Muslims but if each Muslim at least visited their sick relatives then the vast majority of the sick would obtain this support. A Muslim must contact the sick person in their household before visiting them in order to arrange a convenient time. All forms of vain or sinful speech and actions must be avoided, such as gossiping, otherwise a Muslim will only earn sins instead of blessings. They should not remain long in order to avoid causing discomfort to the sick person or their household. Next, a Muslim when possible, should attend the funeral of other Muslims, as each attendee supplicates for the deceased to be forgiven and benefits from being reminded of death and practically preparing for it, which involves using the blessings one has been granted in ways pleasing to Allah, the exalted, just like one desires others to attend their funeral and supplicate for them, they too should do this for others. In addition, Attending a funeral is an excellent way to determine whether the family of the deceased needs any further support, such as financial support. Each Muslim should aid them according to their means, just like they would like the aid of Allah, the exalted, in their moment of need. In fact, the one who aids others for the sake of Allah, the exalted, will gain his support. This has been confirmed in a narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 6853, the next thing mentioned in the main narration under discussion is that Muslims should accept the invitation for meals and social events, as long as no unlawful or disliked activities take place, which in this day and age, is quite rare. An important point to note is that some Muslims attend social events where unlawful or disliked things occur and cite this narration to support their actions. One should not misinterpret the divine teachings in order to fulfill their own desires, as this is clear misguidance and an invitation to divine punishment. One should attend the social events where lawful things are taken place and beneficial worldly and religious things are discussed. One must be on guard to ensure they avoid vain and evil actions and speech otherwise avoiding socializing is better for them. Finally, the main narration under discussion concludes by advising Muslims to supplicate for the Muslim who praises Allah, the exalted, after they sneeze. Generally speaking, this encourages one to always think and behave positively towards others, especially Muslims. They should strive to benefit others for the sake of Allah, the exalted, thereby not desiring nor hoping for any gratitude from them, according to their means, such as a supplication on their behalf. Simply put, one should treat others how they wish people to treat them.